How do you think it feel being inside that city? Repent now before it is too late like the people in Sodom and Gomorrah or you too will feel the hand of God. Okay. Listen everybody, I am going to start to read a small or should I say a short Bible story, we will be reading about God friend Abraham okay let's start right now. The Tower of Babel. After the flood, Noah's sons and their wives had many children. Their families grew, and they began to spread to different parts of the earth, just as Jehovah had told them to do. But some of the families did not obey Jehovah. They said, let's build a city and stay here. We'll make a tower so tall that its top will. We'll reach all the way to heaven. Then we will be famous. Jehovah was not happy with what those people were doing, so he decided to stop them. Do you know how he did it? He suddenly made them speak different languages. Since they could no longer understand one another, they stopped the building work. The city that they had been building became known as Babel, which means confusion. People began to move away and live all over the earth. But they kept doing bad things in the new places where they, they lived. Were there any who still loved Jehovah? We will find out in the next chapter. Everyone who exalts himself will be humiliated, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. Luke 18 14. Abraham and Sarah obeyed God not too far from Babel with a city called Ur, where people worshipped many gods other than Jehovah. But there was a man in Ur who worshipped only Jehovah. His name was Abraham. Jehovah said to Abraham, Leave your home and your relatives and go to the land that I will show you. Then God promised, you will become a large nation, and I will do good things for many people all over the earth because of you. Abraham did not know where Jehovah was sending, but he trusted in Jehovah. So Abraham, his wife Sarah, his father Terah, and his nephew Lot packed their things and obediently began their long trip. Abraham was 75 years old when he and his family finally arrived in the land that Jehovah wanted them to see. It was called the land of Canaan. There God spoke to Abraham and made this promise, All this land you see around you, I will give to your children. But Abraham and Sarah were old and did not have any children. So how would Jehovah make his? By faith Abraham obeyed by going out to a place he was to receive as an inheritance. He went out, although not knowing where he was going. Hebrews 11 8 What did Jehovah ask Abraham to do? What did Jehovah promise Abraham? Genesis 11:29-12:9 Honey, I have a question. I know that there is nothing impossible for God. But how can an 80 or 90 years old woman have a baby at that age? I know that God can do anything he want to do. Well, Julie, you answered your own questions twice already. If you know that Jehovah can do anything, why did you ask that question in the first place? But now I have a question for you. Of what God were you talking about? The true God name is Jehovah, remember Han. God is only a title, like president or king those are only titles, that is why God gave a mandate that everybody should know his from generation to generation to indefinite time his name will be remember, Jehovah is the name of the true God. Honey let me tell you a story ok. Abraham and Sarah had been married for many years. They had left their comfortable home in Ur and were living in a tent. But Sarah did not complain, because she trusted in Jehovah. Sarah wanted a child so much that she told Abraham, if my servant Hagar has a child, it could be like my own. In time, Hagar did have a son. His name was Ishmael. Many years later, when Abraham was 99 years old and Sarah was 89, they had three visitors. Abraham invited them to rest under a tree and share a meal. Do you know who the visitors were? They were angels. They told Abraham, next year at this time, you and your wife will have a son. Sarah was listening from inside the tent. She laughed to herself and thought, can I really have a child even though I am so old? The next year, Sarah gave birth to a son, just as Jehovah's angel had promised. Abraham named him Isaac, which means laughter. When Isaac was about five years old, when Isaac was about five years old, Sarah saw Ishmael making fun of him. She wanted to protect her son, so she went to Abraham and asked him to send Hagar and Ishmael away. At first, Abraham did not want to do that. But Jehovah said to Abraham, Listen, to Sarah. I will take care of Ishmael. But it is through Isaac that my promises will come true. 
by faith also Sarah received power to conceive offspring. Since she considered him faithful who made the promise. Hebrews 11 11, Remember the wife of Lot. Lot lived with Abraham, his uncle, in the land of Canaan. Eventually, Abraham and Lot had so many animals that there was not enough land for all of them. Abraham said to Lot, We can no longer live together in one place, please choose which way you would like to go, and I will go the other way. That was unselfish of Abraham, wasn't it? Lot saw a beautiful part of the land near a city called Sodom. There was plenty of water as well as green grass. So he chose that place, and moved his family there. The people of Sodom and of the nearby city of Gomorrah were very bad. In fact, they were so bad that Jehovah decided to destroy those cities. But God wanted to save Lot and his family, so he sent two. We are Chicanos and proud of it. We are. Tex-Mex Video.